Let's begin with the reading comprehension questions for your gate examination. We have covered some of the questions which were part of the model questions officially given. So here are some of the questions. Now remember the questions would be both multiple choice as well as multiple select. So first we would be doing multiple choice moving forward to multiple select questions. Now here Dr. Shah is a dentist. Uh, he appoints patients from Monday to Friday. He is seeing Chitra two days before Mahi. Okay, so Chitra is booked for two days before Mahi. So Chitra booked two days before Mahi, day one, day two. Then you have Sandeep is booked two days before Bharat. So Sandeep is booked two days before Bharat. Now, Bharat, understand this who coincides with Bharat, not Sandeep. So Bharat, who is booked one day after Mahi and one day before Anand. So he is booked after Mahi but before Anand. Now let me shift this to the above scenario. So I have Chitra, Sandeep, Mahi, Bharat and Anand as the right option. Then it says, the right series, then it says finally Priya is scheduled for 4 days after Chitra. So Priya is scheduled for 4 days after Chitra. So after Chitra 1, 2, 3 and 4th day I have Priya and Chitra is scheduled for Monday. So who is double booked and when? So double booked would be Anand and Priya and they are double booked for which day? They are double booked for Friday. So Anand and Priya becomes the right option. The next question is further interesting. There is a wooden hatch which has certain number of rabbits. Now the question says there are four ear tags and five neck bands that are there. Each rabbit can be given either a neck band or a ear tag or both of those. Now what are the condition? Uh, the first case says I have white rabbits. How many white rabbits? Three white rabbits. Okay. And two gray rabbits. And I have the ear bands and I have the neck bands. Okay. Now for these three white rabbits, I give one a ear tag and remaining two the neck tags. Now for the two gray uh, rabbits it's given that both the gray rabbits so there are two gray rabbits have neck bands so they have neck bands but along with neck band it is not given whether they can have anything else or not so that means they can have and we can write two ear tags for these two gray rabbits but for white rabbits it's clearly written they would have either a ear tag or a neck band so for one rabbit i give a ear tag for the remaining two i give the neck bands okay now for the neck four of them gone and for the ear three of them gone so one neck and one uh, uh, ear remain so one neck and one ear remain and this can be allotted to one another rabbit so what can be the minimum number of rabbits so minimum number of rabbits are here three plus two plus one that counts it to six so the minimum number of rabbits can be six Okay, the next question is further a simple question. Now understand this is not a question from syllogism problem as we have been doing. Uh, this is a question of Euler diagram. You can refer the class of Euler diagram that we have covered separately. Now here the question says some packs are sack. So I have, I draw the circles of pack and sack. Okay, I have pack and sack. Some pack are sack. I draw an intersection. Some zack are cack. Okay, so Zam, Zak are CAC. I draw another circle. All lakhs are packs. Now, when I say all lakhs are packs, I can have all lakhs here, or I can have a NAC in this proportion as well, or I can have a NAC in this proportion. So, any three of these NAC can exist. Now, the first thing says no packs are NACs. That is incorrect because all NACs are packs. So, I cannot say no pack is NAC. Some cats are necks, so cats and necks are totally disconnected. This cannot be the same seen. All packs are necks. All packs cannot be necks because I'm saying all necks are packs. Okay, so there could be a case where I am saying some necks are sacks. So that is where I can write this as an intersection where neck can exist in an intersection and therefore c would be the right option for this question the next question is a further interesting question now this question says that there was a world music competition where 1200 singers were to come and for this there were only 12 pieces of music copies that were originally procured from the publishing company and rest of those were given by the xerox machine now which of the arguments would be most serious would most seriously weaken the argument of a publishing executive so all of those could weaken but most serious weakness 
uh, weakening of the argument would be seen by which of the uh, arguments given here so i can say the copies of the music uh, the the copies of the script can be shared okay that is a argument but it is not the most serious weakening argument i can also believe that one third of the singers performing are involved in the executives company okay so that means one third do not would not require it again it's not that seriously weakening the uh, basic idea of the publishing executive then i can say half of them already know it but when i say there is shortage of the uh, funding because of which the festival required the or uh, the singers to purchase their own copies this would seriously weaken the main argument of the publishing executive and it would affect the publishing saying that the xerox machine publishing would devastate the major publishing executive or the publishing organization so xerox would significantly hamper the publishing house would be best true with the case d that we have discussed a very very important uh, aspect that we have taken into account here the next question is a simple debate that was between newton and huxley now this talked about pure research both of them said the technologies are there technologies tend to save the lives okay but newton believed that the role is mainly to expand the knowledge and the unexplored areas huxley believed that it is mainly used for the purpose of medicine and only for that for the purpose of saving lives so the question says on which of these uh criteria would the two researchers disagree so pure research should have the goal of saving the lives as we said this is the goal which both of them said that is important okay so this is not a disagreement again the pure research derives its significance as a part of providing new technologies has been taken into account by both but huxley said that your priorities are mistaken without pure research medicine will not be a will would not be as advanced as it is that means the pure research has its most valuable achievement in medical application this is the major point of disagreement between the debate of newton and huxley. huxley huxley said that yes it is most valuable for medical application however newton believed that it is most important for exploring new ideas and uh, unexplored knowledge so that is the most important disagreement and further the word most here gives this a bigger thrust because if it was not most we could not say it would be the strongest disagreement that would be there the next questions the next two questions that we are discussing are multiple select question now remember the guidelines say here one or more options can be correct so don't get confused there could be scenario where there could be only one option that could be correct there could be scenario where you have to mark multiple options as correct and the internal choice is not given that means a b b and c a b c so that's not given you are open to mark one choice two choice three choice so you can mark just a a b a b c and so on the first question here talks about prosop prosopagnosia prosopagnosia is a face blindness that means even if your parents come in front of you a major celebrity a historian a major uh, scientist but uh, of your region or of your neighborhood you won't recognize it and that is face blindness so it's a failure of sensory perception but the idea here that has been picked up is a particular sensory deficit that inhibits an important social function of humans okay so that is the major theme now the question says uh, which of the following sentences express essential ideas of the paragraph incorrect choices either change the meaning in the way it is expressed or leave out the information so if i say human can suffer from sensory deficit uh, deficits like face blindness it gives an information but it leaves out an important information that talks about social function of human as in the second line of the question Pro, uh, proso pegnosia is a face blindness again that leaves out the major segment of the line 2 of the paragraph uh, this sensory specific deficit uh, deficiency affects important social structure now this uh, does not express anything it rather changes the meaning we are not talking about social structure we are talking about social function social interactions so it definitely 
affects the social interactions so here a b and c either leave out uh, a and b leave out the important uh, information c changes the meaning of the important information and d is the only correct option now despite the fact this is a multiple select question that was asked you would have only one answer that would be correct and that is d because this can be brought from line 2 of the paragraph which says it inhibits the important social function that means let's say your parents are standing in front of you and you are not able to recognize them so there would be a uh, uh, it would hurt the social interaction okay so d would be the right option the next question is about meritocracy now meritocracy means we are working on merit basis so based on the social stratification based on the merit a person would be given a higher rank but the next line immediately says the concept of meritocracy is ideal but never such never ever such society has existed because the societies are actually complex there is socialization there is economic systems there are multiple factors affecting it there could be inheritance there could be pressure to conform to social norms which could affect the ranking the merit and therefore the passage suggests that meritocracy is a system where one social standing is dependent on merit that is purely correct but at the same time it says that it is unrealistic idea where so many social complexities do exist so b and c both of these are correct however uh, the sentence the last paragraph clearly says sociologists see the aspect of meritocracies in modern societies where they study role of academic performance and job performance and the system in place for evaluating and rewarding achievements in these areas so these are not just the sole determinants these are some of the areas that have been taken by modern societies so a and d does not make it a uh, uh, a correct suggestion for meritocracy based on the passage that is given so you would have b and c as the multiple select and the correct answers because b says what is exactly meritocracy it focuses on social standing based on merit but at the same time it says that it is not idealistic there are complexities in the society that exist and because of which you would have an unrealistic ideal that we are talking about so b and c would be the right option now these were some of the kind of reading comprehension questions that are given in the model paper for your gate so definitely there would be 15 questions that you have to attempt we have discussed this in our class in detail where we have talked about social uh, the gate paper for social sciences and humanities the structure of it the section on aptitude the section on reading comprehension and then your sub from c1 to c6 so we would be covering many more interesting lectures in gate stay tuned and you can follow the links below for more model papers and updates have a wonderful day ahead